Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Eric, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and this is a part two to a previous video. In fact, the second most popular video of all my videos on my YouTube channel is my how to cut the cable bill and get free over the air HD TV antenna video. Now, that video has almost 500 thousand views and I get comments daily okay but a lot of the people are happy that they got to cut the bill cut the cord get rid of that garbage TV you're paying for or in my case I'm not watching that much TV so I would never pay for that once I left AT&T and Direct TV and I used to go into people's homes and sell them these packages and these upgrades that they didn't need because that's what my employer told me to do and I didn't feel good about it sometimes I told the people listen don't do that. You know, it's not worth it. But some people don't watch that much TV or today's generation, everybody watches it on smartphones. So I want to show you this item here. And believe it or not, this item actually came from the same place I bought my antenna from. Antennas Direct saw my video on my antenna that I bought from them. And they said, wow, what an amazing following you have. Would you like one of these? And I said, sure. That was a year ago. I forgot about this. I think it's worth making a video and I just kind of want to, you know, hold true because they sent it to me after my video of the antennas I bought and I never made a video on it. This is called the Clearstream TV. What will this do? In a nutshell, I'll try to make this video as short as possible without me rambling. You could take this device right here and an antenna, depending on where you live, inside or outside is the antenna, with an app on your phone and it will allow you to watch TV from your antenna on your smartphone, your tablet, your Roku, your Amazon Fire Stick. There is live TV right there, okay? Complete with a channel guide, a program guide, the ability to pause, rewind, and fast forward live TV. Save it to your phone or your tablet. Watch it on different devices all over the house. Antenna TV or TV programming comes over the antenna to your smartphone free every month. So I could take my money, I could buy radios, I could buy beer, whatever I want to do. Don't spend your money on, and then, then the wife brings this inside today, and she says, look honey, they got a special going for Black Friday, you know, it's $70 a month for two years for TV and internet, and you think that actually holds up? No, every time you get locked into that two year contract, and then people are broke, and they're like, well, do we watch TV and pay the you know, money and be broke? Or what do we do? We can't cancel. The charge is $500. Don't be a victim of that garbage. When I left AT&T and DirecTV, I was happy to cut that cable and not pay for TV anymore. You do need internet because you got to watch my videos and you got to subscribe. And you can only do that when you have internet on your device. But let's check out the app on here. First, I'm going to go and show you my antenna outside. Now, you do have to have an antenna for this. Again, depending on your area, you may live in California, and you can get over 120 channels with these little rabbit ears on the back of your TV. Yes, that's still possible. But if you're like me, in between the West Palm Beach and the Orlando market, you can put up an outside antenna, or I can put an inside antenna and just get a handful of channels. Maybe you just want to watch football games, or maybe you just want to watch hurricane coverage on your local CBS, ABC, NBC, Fox, and so on. You could do that with a modest antenna. Me, I like to have the bigger antennas and get the most signal possible. So we're gonna check out the Clearstream TV here, okay? And thank them for a year later because they sent it to me a year ago and never made a video on it. But this works with streaming devices like Amazon and Roku. It also works with the smartphone, a tablet, and your TV. Okay, so you could hook this up and have your TV going, but then also have the option to have streaming TV live on your phone at the same time. And if you have the means to split it throughout your house and have a bunch of devices, every room in your house, including the back porch, and all your devices that are connected to Wi-Fi can have live TV. And once you make the initial investment of this device for hundred bucks and your antenna, whatever you choose to get, that's it. It's over. You don't have to pay anymore. I don't watch too much TV, I live on YouTube. And sometimes YouTube is my TV, but you know what you can't get on YouTube or Netflix? Is live TV programming. Watching the president get off of Air Force One, watching the tsunami that just rolled through your country, whatever, it can happen right here. 
and you can watch it on your phone. So we're gonna check out the Clearstream TV from Antennas Direct. Ham Radio Concepts. So to use this device, you're going to need an antenna. Let me say that not everybody can have one of these and not everybody needs one. If you're in an area like California or Miami and there's a lot of stations around, an indoor antenna might serve you just well. I live just between, halfway between Orlando and West Palm Market. So what I have here is by far one of the best antennas I've used. We got this about a year and a half ago. This is the DB8E that I got from antennasdirect.com. And by far, this is the best antenna I've ever used. Um, eight bay bow tie antenna. So there's four elements facing south towards West Palm Market and four elements facing towards Orlando Market. I have the combiner diplexer there. I'm not using that preamp you see right below it. But then I have the Clearstream Fusion antenna here, which is a VHF UHF flat panel style antenna. Now, a lot of people may be able to get away with just this here, the clear stream fusion, and all the links are in the description. But because I'm in between two markets and I, I'm just, you know, nutty for having, I mean, look at the antennas. I got one over there, you know, I got one right here. I mean, look at the antennas. I got to have big antennas, right? So I don't care. I could use one of these in my house and I get about 98 channels right now, um, all digital. And uh, this one I added for VHF, just VHF itself for NBC. But the DB8E that I got from Antennas Direct is by far one of the best I've used. You can use any antenna. There's no such thing as a digital antenna. But the bigger and better the antenna, the more stations you will get. So you can check out my video originally of this antenna and see exactly how I put this together. And at the time of the video, I only had like 50 something or 40 something channels. Now I'm getting about 98. And I don't have this all the way up since Hurricane Dorian because I just been lazy and haven't had time. This thing is usually way up there, up top, whoa, way up there. But uh, I have it, you know, down here because uh, the hurricane was here. But I left it up through the hurricane. So we had about 70 or 80 mile an hour winds, not a direct hit, and it still survived. Here's the device right here, and there's not much to it. This is very simple. This device right here is basically your antenna. Let's, let's pretend you don't have my setup. You have an antenna outside or even behind your TV and your antenna is, is got a cable connection on it. Your antenna is going to connect into this. This is going to go from your Clearstream to your wireless router. Then your wireless router transmits it to your device. All right, let me show you the app real quick because I think this is a very well laid out app and I want you to see this is the meat and potatoes of the device. Now, if you are a struggler, let's say you're not tech savvy, antennasdirect.com. I'm not a struggler, but they do have a lot of support, phone support. Call into this 1-800 number they have on the box. They'll walk you through it. Go on their forums, go on the help on here. Look at the instructions that come with it. Watch YouTube videos on their site. They have it set up. Nobody wants to get something like this and feel like an idiot because they can't set it up. I get it. Some people are tech savvy, some people are not. I don't struggle, so I haven't utilized that tech support, but it seems very good because as a YouTube creator, I make videos on things and I think I'm doing a pretty good job explaining it and people comment and say, wow, I have no idea what the hell you just said. So I get it. There's some people that are not tech savvy. The first thing you're gonna do when you get this and follow the instructions is to set up the device you're gonna connect the clear stream to your Wi-Fi. Now that's the same process as a Google Chromecast or an Alexa. You're gonna go through the process. Mine's already connected. You're gonna go through the process and connect the clear stream to your Wi-Fi, okay? And then once you do that, you come back, you're going to scan channels. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to scan channels on this device. Once you do that though, it's gonna have all the channels locked in for your area, saved into your, your little app here. Now we're gonna go back to guide. Now check this out. It has a whole guide laid out by channel numbers and you can see if you click on 25.1 shows you what's on now, what's coming on later and check it out. Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel Live. Click that. Do you want a reminder that you need to watch that later? There you go. You can set a reminder. Do you want to do you want to uh, watch it live? Here you go. Now watch. One, two, three. There's Jimmy Kimmel Live or right now this is uh, Wheel of Fortune but look I can pause it. Okay. I gotta pause it. I could, it, it, you know, you watch the top up here. The top's buffering. The longer you pause, it's going to buffer that data in your phone so that if you have a slower Wi Fi, it can keep up without breaking up constantly. Now, you're watching Wheel of Fortune. Let's say, oh man, I gotta, you know, I gotta shut it off. 
and Hit the record the button. Look, storage uh, remaining. Uh, Four hours and 15 minutes. I'm now recording Wheel of Fortune on my phone. It's recording onto my phone. That means I can watch it later if I wanted to. So if you're one of these junkies that has to watch Dancing with the Stars and Blue Bloods, and you have to watch it on a plane tomorrow on your flight to Ohio, you can save it on your phone and watch it, given that you have enough space on your phone. Okay? Now, we're recording now, so I'm going to hit stop. We're going to go back to done. To back. Back. And we're going to go to recordings. Now, look. There's two recordings right there. We have ABC World News tonight. You can click that and it starts playing right now. There's ABC World News tonight. You can fast forward. Look. Fast forward through commercials. Go back to recordings. Go to Wheel of Fortune. That's what I just recorded. Play. There it is. There's your Wheel of Fortune. Okay. There's only 27 seconds of it recorded. Fast forward if you want. Watch. Fast forward. When it's done, it stops, okay? Now you can go back, just like a DVR. My screen protector on this auto, auto box stinks, so I have to slam this thing. Okay, so you have the idea here. Live TV, we got anything here? We'll go to 56.1, check it out. One, two, three, here comes live TV. Now this all depends on what kind of router you have. I'm gonna pause this and I'll have to talk over it. If you have a really good router and really good Wi-Fi coverage, it's good. If this is four miles away, not four miles, if this is in the upstairs and your Wi-Fi never gets to your bedroom, it's gonna pixelate. Your Wi-Fi, this app and this device is only gonna, good, is gonna be as good as your Wi-Fi. If you have poor Wi-Fi, it can't communicate with the device. If you have slow internet but a good signal, you can pause it and buffer this. See how that's counting up there? It's buffering, now watch. I'm 30 seconds behind live TV, so now I have enough buffer room to compensate for my slow internet if I had slow internet, okay? So that's the app here, and I know that wasn't a minute and a half, but man, it's, it's really cool to know that this exists on a phone, tablet, the same thing happens on an Amazon, same thing happens on a smart TV, you can do it with the Clearstream TV. All right, everybody, so I hope this video was a little shorter than my original HD TV over the air antenna video because a lot of people said, hey, this is an hour long. I tried to sum this up a little bit in my bedroom or my messy desk. Okay, but the fact is you could do this if you're interested in doing this. And I feel confident that, you know, they sent me this over a year ago and I forgot about it, that I at least enlightened you on something that you didn't know. It's also, the links are for the website for Antennas Direct and all kinds of stuff in the description. You have to go below the video and check this out. I'm not much of an, a TV watcher on my phone. In fact, the only time I watch videos on my phone is if it's a YouTube channel or, or you know, I wanna make my buddies laugh. Everybody, I mean, who doesn't use YouTube nowadays to go online and watch something funny? Hey, check out this dude on a dirt bike, dude, watch him wreck, you know? That's funny. But you know what you can't get on YouTube? Is something live, like when a hurricane's coming, or something like a, a, a presidential election, or some big world event doesn't happen really almost all the time on YouTube. You want live TV? You go to a live TV channel like WPBF or whatever's in your area. I actually like WPBF News Channel in our area in West Palm, they're really good. But look, Right now, I can watch Wheel of Fortune. But if there was something happening and I had to watch live TV on a network channel, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, football games, you wanna watch, but you wanna watch the Super Bowl? It's right there on your phone over the antenna for free. Don't pay DirecTV to watch a Super Bowl. You can do it with this. And if you're one of those guys that are, you know, phone friendly and tablet friendly and all that, this may be your way. Hopefully you learned something on this video. Hopefully it enlightened you of a device you didn't know about or a technology that existed that you're way behind. Thanks for watching. For my ham radio followers, 73, this is KJ4YZI. And for someone who may have clicked on this, and subscribed to my channel because they thought this was a cool video, stay tuned. You never know what you're gonna see in the future on this channel. Have a good day.